Hi and welcome to the second video of our Modebus plus Python IoT training. In the first video we have covered some installation part which is some required software installation and required software for this training is Modebus Slave, Modebus Pol, Python version 3.10 and along with the Python we have installed Jupyter Notebook in the previous video and then after we have seen how you can use Modescan software without installation and we have also seen the virtual serial port driver software installation guide and after that we have used Jupyter Notebook to install these two libraries PyModbus and PyModbus TCP you can watch that videos by using this link so when you press on this watch link it will redirect you to our YouTube video okay but it is a member only content so you need to buy fusion legend membership to watch this video so you can click on here join button to buy this membership and you have to click on fusion legend and what you will get in the fusion legend membership so you will get more bus plus python iot training videos mqtt plus python iot training videos and all the videos which is available in fusion light elite and ultra membership okay so you can press join button and you can join our membership so let's get back to our syllabus and in this video we are going to see these three topics create modbus tcp ip simulator device using modbus slave or modbus pole software and then after we will see how you can read modbus value so whatever modbus simulator device you are creating using modbus pole or modbus slave software we want to read those value using modescan software so we will see that and then after we will go back to our Jupyter Notebook and we will see how you can connect with your Modbus simulator device using Python. Okay, so in this video we are going to cover these three topics. So we will minimize this. Now we will open our Modbus slave software. So we will double click on this shortcut to open our Modbus slave software. And then after in the menu bar you have two menu connection and setup. So before making any connection or before creating any device, you have to set up your definition, definition of your device, that which kind of device you want to create. So we will go back to setup and then we will click on slave definition. Now in the slave definition, the first thing is slave ID. So the device you are creating that hold slave ID 1, 2 or anything else. After that, the function. So the device I am creating here, this is holding register device, input status device, coil status or input register device. So you have to select the function code here that I want to create a Modbus device with holding register. Okay. So whenever you create this device, you will not able to access the input register or input status or coil status if you have selected holding register. Now you have to select the address mode. In my case, it will be a decimal now how many address you want starting from 0 quantity 10 if you want a more quantity then you can uh, increase your quantity here okay now how many rows you want so suppose if i choose 20 and then i choose quantity also 20 and if i press ok you can see i have 20 quantity in one column okay if i go to again slave definition and if i select on 10 rows per column and if I press OK then I, I, I will get two column first with 10 register and second with the 10 register so this will be my 40,001 address okay now we will go back to slave definition and I will convert into 10 quantity 10 row 10 and if you want a PLC address base 1 address then you can tick here so in the PLC address you can see our address is starting with 0 so 0 corresponds to 40,001. So if you are going to select a PLC addressing, then you have to change here 1. And if you press OK, then our starting register will change from 0 to 1. Okay. So this is the impact of this slave definition. So I will not take this PLC addressing and I will convert it to 0. So my address 0 is equal to 40,001. And then I'll press OK to save my definition. And then I'll go to connection to create my device. So we will connect. And which kind of device you want to create? You want to create a serial device or you want to create a TCP IP device. So in our case, we are going to learn TCP IP communication with Python and Modbus. So that is why we are going to create 
Modbus TCP IP device and you can find the IP address of your device. So whenever you press OK, this will be your IP address of your Modbus device. So whenever you try to read any data from this device, you have to use this IP address 127.0.0.1 and you have to use this port number 502 you can change this port according to your need but i don't want to change it i want to keep it as it is now here is one option ignore unit id so previously in the setup uh, just go back to setup and you can see slave id is equal to one so here i have set up the slave id is equal to one and in the connection uh, just click on modbus tcp and you can see ignore unit id so any client can connect without specifying slave id okay so you have set the slave id one and if any client want to connect with your device then they can connect without specifying unit id or slave id if you have checked this box and if you uncheck this box then client should have to specify unit id otherwise the communication will not be proper so right now we are ignoring unit id and we will press ok so you can see there is no connection warning here that is gone if i disconnect then you can see no connection if i connect then you can see okay the warning or error is gone now my device is up and running in my laptop now if i open mode scan software so I'll go to software and then I'll go to more scan and I'll go to more scan 32. Okay, and now open it parallelly. Now, what is the IP address of my device is 127.0.0.1. And what is the port number of my device is 502. And if I press OK, you can see modbus exception response from slave device because we have selected coil status and in the setup slave definition we have selected function code 3 it means we can only get values for holding register so that is why we have to select holding register still i am getting the error why because in the slave definition we have only select quantity 10 we don't have more quantity than 10 okay so we only have 10 holding register available in our device and here we are requesting 100 holding register so that cannot be possible so we have to remove one zero and then after we can see our error is gone from more scan and if i change value here like so if i set to auto increment and then i'll press ok you can see the value is coming here okay so this is how you can create your mode bus tcp simulator device now if i change device id to 2 then still i am able to connect it with my modbus device now if i go back to connection and if i disconnect okay now go to connection again and if i uncheck this ignore unit id so now client must have to specify unit id to create a connection previously what happened if i change device id to 2 then also it was connected but now it won't be connected anymore so if i press ok and if i uh, select one as a device id here and if i connect then you can see values are updating and if i change to device id 2 then you can see modbus message timeout error so this software will not allow any client who is used to read data on the device id 2 so i have to select device id 1 if i want to read this data so in the setup this slave id equals to unit id here okay and unit id slave id is equal to device id here so you don't have to confuse between these three terms device id slave id and unit id all are one thing so if i press ignore unit id and i'll start my device and then i'll connect it from more scan you can see they are communicating if i change to device id 2 then also they are communicating if i change to device id 3 then also they are communicating okay but if i disconnect and if i uncheck this ignore unit id then they are not able so any my any of my client will not able to connect with my device without uh, specifying proper device id 
I hope this part is clear that how you can create your Modbus TCP simulated device using a more slave software. So if you have any doubt creating Modbus TCP device then you can comment me, you can ask me on the telegram or you can directly mail me, I'll respond you there. Now we will disconnect this and we will, so, so whenever you disconnect this uh, Modbus slave device it will automatically dis get disconnected from Modscan also. So we will go back to our syllabus. So the first topic create Modbus TCP simulated device using Modbus slave is done. Okay, now you know how you can create your Modbus TCP device using Modbus slave software. And we have also covered the third part, sorry, second part, read Modbus TCP IP simulated device value in Modscan. So I have created Modbus TCP simulated device using Modbus slave software. And then after I, we have successfully communicated with our Modbus TCP simulated device using Modscan 30. To software now if I go to setup and if I change the slave definition suppose I want to read input register from my mode scan then all I have to change is in function so I'll select input register and then I'll press ok and then I'll go to connection I will take this ignore unit ID and then I'll press ok now if I press this connect button the connection will be happen but this mode scan will not able to read data because this device is providing data on the input register not the holding register so that is why we have to select our function here input register then after we will get our data okay so here in the setup we have total four function available coil status input status holding register and input register so according to that whatever you are selecting here you have to select it here okay so these things you have to take care while programming your python code so we will close it for now we will reset control and then we will disconnect our device okay so we will minimize this and we will go back to our syllabus so we have completed this first topic create modbus tcp ip simulated device using modbus slave software and also we have completed that how you can read your Modbus simulated device value using Modscan software. Now we will go back to our Jupyter notebook and we will try to connect with our Modbus TCP device using our Python script. So I have to open command prompt. I have to type python hyphen m notebook and o t e b double o k. Okay, so our notebook is open successfully. Now we will navigate to desktop and in the desktop we have folder Modbus plus Python IoT training. Inside this we have one more folder Python notebook. Now we have to find notebook related to our topic and our topic is how to connect with Modbus TCP IP device or simulator device using Python script or from the Python script. So here I have device how to connect with Modbus TCP IP device dot IPYNB. So I'll open this a notebook. Okay, so this is the first cell in which I have given the command that if you have not installed PyMorbus library in your system, then you can install from this command. So if I run this cell by pressing shift plus enter, you can see that requirement already satisfied. So this PyMorbus library is already installed with Python. So it is already installed. So now we can use this PyMorbus library to connect with our Modbus device so it can be a real Modbus device also and it can be a simulated device also now we have to import Modbus TCP client from our PyModbus library so we will again press shift enter and you can see there is no error okay now we have to create a Modbus TCP client so client is equal to Modbus TCP client and what is the IP address of my device it's localhost i mean 127.0.0.1 and what is the port number 502 so if i press shift enter then client is created now i want to create a connection to my device 
simulator device so i'll press shift enter but my device is not up and running in the mode slave software you can see there is no connection so that is why i am getting false now we will go back and then we will connect and then we will press ok now we will again try to connect you can see it's true so our python code is able to connect with our more slave software so that is why we are getting true message here and if i disconnect it and if i try to connect with server again from my client you can see false it means we are not able to connect with our device so right now my device is in sleeping state so this is how you can test your connection in between your python language and your modbus device so it's a five lines of code you have to import modbus tcp client and then after you have to create python client so client is equal to modbus tcp client and you have to give the host ip address i mean your modbus device ip address and the port number of your modbus device which is available in your connection wizard so whenever you press connect you can see the ip address and port number so if i type 127.0.0.1 instead of localhost then also we will able to connect with our device so let me create our device now we will run this cell again see there is a true so either you can use localhost or you can use the ip address of your device right now my device is in my own system my own localhost system so that is why i am using 127.0.0.1 but if your device is connected with your lan port and ip address of the device is something different then you can specify that ip address here and then you can specify the port number of that device here got it so if you have any question regarding this notebook then you can ask me okay you know where to ask don't hesitate to ask because this training is for you you have to understand everything properly so go back to our syllabus so we have covered this first topic create modbus tcp simulator device using modbus slave software and along with creation of device we have seen modbus scan software so that we can read device values and then after we have seen this third topic how to connect with modbus tcp device or simulator device from your python script so we have established successful communication between our modbus simulator device and our python script so you can see true it means they are connected okay so i hope everything is clear to you regarding this video so this three part is covered in this video so in the next video we will try to cover this topics too okay so we will meet you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you